Shell's Formula One partnership with Ferrari goes back over 60 years. A relationship based on mutual respect and a shared passion for technological advance. Let us know if you see something or some no problems, I'll come and find you. Thank you. This season, that partnership will be seeking to capitalize on two of the biggest opportunities to come along for many years. The refueling restriction and the new fuel specifications laid down by the FIA. Both of these changes are really positive for Shell. They are giving us a lot more freedom to be able to design fuels that can really be optimized for performance and protection. With the new regulations, it's even more important the job between Ferrari and Shell. We use the V-Power, which is a great fuel anyway, but we're working very, very hard to, to improve and to, to find even more power in terms of uh, engine and reliability, which is always important, you know, to start and finish the race. It's a fantastic opportunity. Probably the biggest change we'll have seen in fuel development in about 15 years. First step is from the track. We know basically from the experience what we need. We know which are the most important parameters to work on. And then weekly, we have meetings with the Shell and we try to give them the maximum information. Work on the new fuel formulation began last summer at Shell's technological center at Thornton in the UK. With exhaustive modeling and analysis of over 200 individual fuel components. Without the opportunity to refuel, preventing the fuel already on board from overheating will be a key factor in the team's success. The cars these days are much tighter packaged than they were in the early 90s. So you've got the engine much closer to the fuel tank. So the fuel tank temperature is going to get really hot. One of the ways to get around this is actually in the fuel formulation itself. We're designing the fuel to be able to deal with these hotter temperatures and not to vaporize in, in the fuel tank. You can get vapor lock issues. Or well, the other problem is you can get air bubbles in the fuel. This can cause what's called cavitation. And if you've got the most extreme circumstances, the fueling system would be damaged beyond repair. Fuel cooling is not the only issue. Maximizing performance is a given, but weight and volume will also be critical. You're talking 20% of the weight of the car at the start is made up of fuel, so we've put a lot of effort into the, the fuels for this season to give them a good performance on a weight basis. Conversely, if you've got a tank on the car that's a little bit small, you want the good performance on a volume basis, so we're having to cover both angles. Alongside the fuel, new lubricants have been developed to help prolong the life of each Ferrari engine and to meet the demands of the longer Formula One calendar. Not least, the hot and sandy conditions of the first Grand Prix in Bahrain, now imminent. Whatever happens, it's sure to be one of the most competitive and engaging F1 seasons for years. I think we are ready. We have some innovative products uh, from Shell that uh, we've been testing all winter. And I think we found the right compromise. We have to be very optimistic. We have some of the best formulators here in Shell on the fuels and the lubricant side. And they have managed to come up with a fantastic fuel. We're very confident that we're going to start the season with a fuel that will help Ferrari get back to its winning ways.